Hello, everybody. This is Tritho, and welcome back to another wonderful episode with our, our best friends here, the trees. Oh, look how beautiful they are today. So green and lush. Let's hug them. Ah! <laughs> ah, this is what Tritho likes to do in his spare time. He, he goes around hugging the trees. Oh, you're such a good tree. No, I'm not crazy. Uh, guys... It's been a long time since we did anything with the, the tree business here. We were trying to mutate them and get the new trees. Uh, I just plopped down the six different types of vanilla trees here. And out of that, we got the silver lime sapling and the mundane... Yeah, silver lime and mundane larch. Um, and then I let this thing run for a bit longer with the, the bees pollinating them. But nothing really happened. Like, we got these random mutations here. But every one of them is a tree I, I seem to have gotten already. Nothing new was coming out of it, and I didn't really know what to do beyond that. Um, until today, because I have updated my NEI. So check this out. Very cool. If we look at the saplings now, it actually gives us a little uh, page here and shows us what we need to do to mutate them to the other type. So if we want a hill cherry sapling, we need to take the silver lime and then crossbreed it with the silver birch and then there's a 10 percent chance of getting a hill cherry so let's let's try this out there's something uh i've been wanting to try actually so you can you can uh pollinate with bees and it just kind of happens or you can pollinate with butterflies yeah look at all the mutated leaves over here like they do work if you let them be crazy amount of them here. <laughs> uh, so let's try catch them. I read you can you can like pick them up with the scoop and then replace them. Oh man, it's so laggy here. There must be billions. Look at them all. All right. How hard is it to catch a butterfly? Pretty tough. I can't even focus on one. There we go. Oh, he flew away. You might have to sneak to catch him. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Smacked him. Right click. Okay, not left click. Right click. So yeah, that allows us to pick it up. Okay, so I got a bunch of butterflies here. That's just a normal fly. <laughs> uh, the trick seems to be just to charge at them and spam right click. That seems to work pretty good for me here. Uh, so what we're going to do now is head back over to our main area to the left. All right. And I'm going to try to grow the two trees and see if we can shear the leaves and then replace them. Because that would make it very easy to control this all. So yeah, we're going to plant our silver lime tree and we need our silver birch. Is it silver lime? Yeah, silver lime. Silver lime and silver birch. That's weird. Okay. Get this to grow. Get this to grow. Because I think forestry changes the leaf to a special type, a special forestry mod leaf not just the regular vanilla leaves so let's see if we can pick these up and have them retain their information yeah forestry leaves good all right so i'm gonna make like a tube of leaves i think and then fill it with butterflies and see if we can get them to uh, do the work for us really quickly here all right so something like this maybe every second one we will do silver lime uh, and we'll do like a tube. Oh, flowers there. Something like that. Yeah, so we're going to put the silver birch leaves between them. So we got silver lime, silver birch. This should make the hill cherry sapling. And this will be a good first test because I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do. <laughs> Are they going to just pollinate the leaves they land on? Are they not going to do anything at all because I wrecked it somehow? We'll find out. It'll be a good little test. I'm going to fill this up with the butterflies. Hopefully they don't escape while doing this. I can place these, right? I can't place them. I read you could place them after you pick them up. Fly, butterfly. Fly. <laughs> really? I thought you could replace them. Oh, no. That, that totally wrecks everything. Whew. Okay. Good news. Sounds like you just got to throw them in, and they'll, they'll take off eventually here. So we're going to fill this up, seal them up. And as long as the climate is right and it's warm enough or something, then they take off. Oh, yeah, they're going. They're going crazy. <laughs> Put a little viewing window in here, too, so we can watch it a little easier, hopefully. 
Are some of them getting stuck down below when I do that? Maybe when they respawn. Oh, no, you stay inside. How did you do that, you little cheater? I think maybe when they spawn, they spawn inside the block a little bit. Oh, I didn't place them all, apparently. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to let that run for a little bit and see if any of the leaves change. Okay, mm a little update. They were all fluttering around very happily, very nicely, and now they've all kind of landed at the exact same time. I don't know if they're dying or what, <laughs> but they're all kind of just kind of just sitting there now. All right, guys, so it's probably been about 40 minutes to an hour. <laughs> I just kind of left my game running here, AFK, while I went and did some other stuff, came back, and as you can see, it's pretty clear from this test... It's conclusive. Butterflies are jerks. <laughs> they don't want to do any work. They want the bees to do everything. Uh, yeah, no, no leaves have mu mutated here. It was a, it was a big bust uh, by the looks of it. But in my infinite wisdom, before I took off and AFK'd, I decided that I should probably try a natural test as well, where I didn't break the leaves and replace them. So I grew two trees side by side, and just kind of made a little connection between them um, and I, d I just put four butterflies in there and I think this actually changed pretty quickly you can see there's two mutated uh, silver silver birch leaves these ones didn't mutate I don't know if just because of chance or maybe only this one is going to but this seemed to happen pretty quickly so I'm happy with that that's what I was hoping for with this but no we're gonna have to naturally grow the trees and not move the leaves with shears like we did uh, let's try something here as well. I made the fertilizer. <laughs> Getting super technical now. Uh, I think it needs honey to, to power it. See what kind of information we get from this. Because every butterfly is different. I think some of them are better pollinators too. Okay, average lifespan. Oh, shorter lifespan. Average size. Production slowest. Metabolism slower. Fertility three. Doesn't say anything about pollinating, does it? Kind of thought it would. Yeah, okay, so I'm kind of in the planning stages right now. We're going to try and make a machine to sort of cheat the pollinating system <laughs> so you can get the trees quickly. Um, it would be a fun little project, too, because if you use bees, it does take a long time, too, even though they're a lot faster than the butterflies. Uh, but if you control these guys, we might be able to do it like crazy quickly. We'll see. So if we use a fan, it seems to work. Can they fight it? They can kind of fight it. Hmm, that blue guy. They can't fight it very well, though, it seems. Okay, I tried uh, breaking the two leaves here, and my grafter broke after the first one. So, <laughs> I just threw away that video. Let's break this last leaf here. There's a 10% chance we'll get a hill cherry sapling, I believe. We did not. Okay, wasn't really expecting it. But here's another thing. These two guys kind of got caught in here, so they're going to be victims of our, our next test. Apparently, they can pick up pollen, so these guys might have pollen on them, and then when you kill them, you can get it. Yes, you dropped some pollen. They both did. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's really a good approach, uh, because we're going to run out of butterflies if we keep killing them. There's no way of... S well, there is a way of breeding them, uh, but that's a whole other thing. I don't know if I really want to do that. But apparently, with the pollen, you can force pollinate with it. Yeah, that's cool. Didn't get it. Um, didn't get it. Darn. <laughs> well, we tried. Yeah, I think if you use the scooper, scooper pooper on a mutated leaf, you can get a caterpillar and then grow butterflies. Like if I use a scooper on here instead of a grafter, there's a chance maybe of getting caterpillars, but I'm not entirely sure. Nope. Nope. Okay, so it turns out I was pretty close, uh, but you got to use fertilized butterflies and then break the mutated leaves they leave behind, not just any any old butterflies. How do you get fertilized butterflies? <laughs> As it turns out, not a lot of information on this uh, on the internet. I want to see, can I catch them in a soul vial? Oh, they do run away from you. They're kind of like ocelots. They get scared. I want, I want to see if I can catch you. Oh, I did get one! Okay, cool. We might be able to spawn them in using a powered spawner instead of having to breed them. 
Uh, but yeah, I seem to be the only one that wants to make fertilized butterflies. What's going on, guys? Isn't this something that interests you? <laughs> Not a lot of information on where these caterpillars come from. But the best I could find out is you need this thing. All right, and then there's some weird mini game involved with it. So out of curiosity, I do kind of want to see that. Um, but we'll probably go with the powered spawner route if that works. It might not. We'll have to try it. Okay, if we we got to squeeze seeds, get seed oil. Come on, you're almost there. Almost there. It's like watching paint dry. Five hundred. Yes, okay, now it shows up. Whew. <laughs> okay, we got it. And it's not a chair. It's some weird thing. <laughs> okay, so we take a butterfly and put it in here, I think. Did I bring any more butterflies with me? And then it's like a memory game? It's very weird. Okay, put the butterfly in. And I think we need to give it some some honeycomb. I don't know if it needs a specific type. This strange fellow needs further investigation. Oh, I, I didn't flutterfly it. <laughs> wow. I just said that. Got to flutterfly the butterfly before we can play the mini game. Okay. Oh, we need uh, power for the flutterfly. Did that work? I think it's been flutterflied, right? Okay. Put that back in here. I have found a curious speci specimen on my travels. Okay, now what do we do? We click these. Dinary fr fritillary. Postman. Okay, so I think that consumed some honeycomb because we mismatched. Do I have to undo? Failed again. Or do we restart every time? Okay, failed. Wait, these are all different. I thought I was supposed to match pairs. Or, or am I resetting it every time? Ah, oh, that's my that might be what I'm doing. Okay, messed up. Why I had such a great strides? How do you how do you reset it? Do you have to like reset and try again every time? Okay, we got a matching pair. Okay, okay. So we got a one in four chance. One in three. Oh, we did it! Nice, and that gave us this bottle of stuff. <laughs> Okay, then we take that. Is this all we need? Mated. Yes. Okay, so that is a fertilized butterfly. So then we let him go. He lands on leaves. He makes these muta mutated leaves. We break them with the scoop, and then we get caterpillars, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to try the powered spawner, though. This thing is crazy. There's like 20 steps to making a powered spawner. <laughs> I've never done it before. It's pretty crazy, too, it turns out. So first you gotta make the powered spawner, the, the actual block, so I did that, and it takes like a bunch of crazy stuff here. Special alloys you gotta make, and the other big thing, the Z-Logic controller, you gotta make that in a slice and splice, so you need another machine. And of course power and all that kind of crazy stuff. You get that, and then you get a broken spawner. Um, so like, if you break a blaze spawner, this is gonna be a broken blaze spawner. And then you combine it with this, it'll be powered blaze spawner. We need a butterfly spawner though, so to do that it sounds like you take a broken spawner, so vile it up, get 15 levels. I have 15 levels. Use player XP. Okay, so hopefully this will make a broken butterfly spawner. Seems to have died. <laughs> Nothing's happening. You took my powered spawner and my soul vile. Oh, this is so slow. I need capacitors in here to speed it up. Oh my goodness. Be right back. 99. And broken butterfly spawner. Yes. <laughs> it's actually good. I need to wait a bit here anyway to get more XP. Because I think it takes 30 levels. 30 levels, yes. Okay. Did I just duplicate it? What? No. Visual glitch. Oh, I didn't have enough. <laughs> really? Like half a level short here. Come on, more skeletons. One or two more. This is all the XP I have in my world too. I used it all up when we when we got to level 100 that, the other day there. Okay, that just did it. And powered butterfly spawner. Good. 
Good, good. So now, I believe we have to power this to spawn butterflies. And it might not work here. It might need to spawn them on forestry leaves. Um, hmm. Looks like it's working. Progress, 50%. Okay, so it's got a little progress bar here. And I'm sh I think you can upgrade this too to make it faster and stuff. Uh huh. We kind of want to use like new butterflies every time because they're going to pick up the pollen. And then... Like when we switch to a different type of tree, they're gonna still have that old pollen on for for making the type of tree we don't want. Okay, that didn't do anything. Hmm. 87, 93, 99. Nothing! <laughs> okay, a little worried this isn't gonna work. Got any butterflies out here? Any butterflies at all? No. Hmm. Today's episode brought to you in part by Indirios. Taste the color blue. Part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> okay, so my thought is, like, I don't know how this power spawner works. It might be like if you want to spawn pigs, you got to spawn them on grass. Like, it might check their natural spawning uh, abilities. Pigs spawn on grass. Uh, these butterflies spawn on forestry leaves fairly slowly, but I think that's where they come from. So we're going to put this, this spawner near some leaves. We're going to power it with a whole bunch of power. We're going to upgrade it and just see if anything happens. If not, we've probably got to go a different route. Brought over the capacitor, so it should be pretty fast. Oh, yeah, yellow butterfly, right? Did I imagine that? Oh. Oh, I think we're getting butterflies. We're getting yellow butterflies. <laughs> yes. Okay, we might have just got unlucky before because we're getting butterflies here. We don't need the leaves nearby. We just put it anywhere. Uh, and the other thing we should check. Good, no pollen. Whew. <laughs> I didn't check like when I captured the butterfly if he had any on him. Because if he did, then all the ones we... Uh, spawn in here would have it and then we couldn't breed any trees till we got rid of it so thankfully that doesn't seem to be a problem okay next test here we got a dome over top of us here we're gonna try to get some butterflies to spawn within here and just see what it takes for them to pick up the pollen is it like when they land on the leaves they grab it automatically like he touched the leaves we got it automatically okay so as soon as they touch the leaves they pick it up that's really cool. All right, so if this looks a little weird, we're inside a glass room right now. <laughs> it's very, very clear glass, but I built a little spawning room uh, for the butterflies in here, so hopefully none of, the, none of them escape because I don't want them lighting up my world here either. Uh, we spawn the butterflies. Then we probably need three fans on the back here to push them this way. A fan on this side and a fan on this side pushing them towards the middle they fall down here another fan um, pushes them straight across here the challenge is going to be making it so we can switch to different trees easily with our pollinator pollinator however you want to say it <laughs> uh, I checked by the way because I know there's gonna be a ton of comments on this people telling me I say it wrong turns out in the UK they say Pollen, and in the U.S. they say pollen, as in Paul. Pollen. Aha. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> if you're in the U.S., you're supposed to say pollen. If you're in the U.K., you say pollen. And if you're Canadian like me, you can say whatever you want, because that's the way we roll over here. <laughs> so I've kind of been switching up throughout the episode to please everybody. All right. So, our pollinator, pollinator. Uh, we grow a tree here. So let's say we want silver silver lime pollen pollen. We will there we go plant it. All right, this is not going very smoothly. <laughs> I should have prepared better, I guess. I need bone meal now. Yeah, so we're gonna set up so that we grow a tree. Might be able to fully automate this, but it would be a little bit tricky. Grow our tree, kind of. I guess we should grow it a little bit closer. That's the challenging thing about this. 
every tree is different, right? All the, like the different species um, have different amounts of leaves, different uh, growing shapes and all that kind of stuff. Makes it a bit tricky to plan how to do this. So this one we would want like over there, I think. Yeah, so we had like a little hole over there. We're going to try push the... Wait, where was it? <laughs> Darn it, I lost it. At the level with the fan there. So right, right over here. So we're going to need some device to drill a hole right through here. And then we want the butterflies to kind of scrape across the leaves here as they blow through. And then we kill them and we get the pollen. Is the plan. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. Actually, yeah. So I brought another thing over here. Autonomous activator. We will set that up up above here. And let's power it just to shut it off for right now. That shuts it off, right? Nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, on high. On low. Okay. There we go. Uh, inside there, we're going to put our a wand with the shock thing. Because that seems like a fun way to kill butterflies. We'll try that out. Hopefully, it doesn't have to be a player that kills them to get the pollen. <laughs> and let's see. We'll make a little holding catch thing, probably with a hopper below or something, to pick up the drops. So we're going to get leaves from this. Um, to drill the hole, probably going to use a pulse mana spreader with a tunnel bore lens. But let's let's just try it with what we got right now. Okay, let's just see if we can collect them into there and if we get the drop. Okay, so we're going to turn this on. Oh, I'm going to need that back. And we'll need a proper switch and all that for this too. Okay, so hopefully none spawn outside of the, the thing here. Didn't set up the fans yet either, I just realized. Okay. Oh yeah, and they fly too. They might not want to fall down that hole. Ooh, that would be a problem too. Okay, a couple of them got through just on their own there. That's good to see. But uh, we got a fan here. Fan, Three fans in the back here. And one on the other side to push them into the middle. Turn this one on to push them through the leaf area. Leaf area. And they're still kind of flying. As soon as they settle down though. They should fall down that hole. Oh, they fight it quite a bit, don't they? <laughs> Darn it. Um, hmm. Maybe we could use conveyor belts. Yeah, with those fans running, they really don't like... They don't behave at all. That's kind of a problem. Okay, we got a few in here, though. Let's try turning this on. See if we get the, the pollen. Um... Okay, that's not working. <laughs> Wait a second. Right click. Oh, okay. This might need a little bit more control. Oh, I can't click on that now. Aim low. Something is seriously wrong. I can't click now. Game's getting laggy. Huh. Well, this might not be the best choice of a wand, because even when it's shooting sideways, I can't see anything. Does it hurt me? It does hurt me. But not at a distance. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, hey, hey now. <laughs> and once again, I can't click on there. Why? Why? Okay. Like, there's a moment there where I can't click on it for for some reason. What else could we use? We need some way of killing them. It doesn't really matter how we kill them, but we need something. Okay, I grabbed the fire one out of the chicken cooker thing just to try this out. We need something here. Okay, so hopefully this time... Is there a block in front of there I can't see? Oh, wait. No, there's nothing in front there. This thing really doesn't want to work. <laughs> uh, you know, when things go smoothly in Minecraft, it means you're not challenging yourself self enough. That's my theory. All right. 
This one works sideways, though. We've done it before. Yeah, okay, so maybe we just need to move this. This thing is working terribly. <laughs> oh, we burnt him! We burnt a butterfly! Oh, and it didn't kill him. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to get a bunch of them going. Let's just do it. All right, we need lots of butterflies. Lots of butterflies to fry. Okay. Okay. So when I when I envisioned this, I like imagined a stream of butterflies flying through here. Not quite working the way I had hoped. Fire does not work very well against butterflies. Pokemon has led us astray. I know bug types are weak to, to fire, but not here. They're pretty resistant, actually. <laughs> oh, we killed one, and he didn't drop any. Oh, that's a problem. He didn't drop the pollen. Didn't drop it either. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Okay, so I'm a little worried. This isn't going to work. <laughs> but I have been watching them. They haven't landed once for w for quite a while here. Like I think they're fighting the fan. And until we shut this off, I don't think they're going to land. And I think it's when they land that they pick up the pull-in. Possibly. Um... Hmm. Like, some of them are kind of on the leaves. Yeah, let's kill them all and see what happens. <laughs> uh, maybe we will attack them from over here. We need the pollen. That's what this is all about. Nothing, nothing. Oh, man. Could also be that maybe each leaf block only produces one, and once they take it at once, it's gone forever. I'm not sure. Yeah, we got nothing. Huh. If I kill a random butterfly, like pretty much any one, they drop one. Yeah. So he got an apple oak pulling from all the, the apple oak trees around here. Hmm. This guy landed. And he landed on this leaf block. We got one that time. But they weren't able to, to stand on this one previously. So yeah, maybe we need fresh leaf blocks every time. Oh, he dropped one. What? They're messing with my mind. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. I think I might have figured something important out here. I think they need an airspace above. It can't be a one high area. It has to be too high. Otherwise, they never land. And they have it. Do they all have it? Give me the pollen. <laughs> they do all have it. This was a fresh tree, though. I'm going to try this a few more times. All right. Well, I have figured out quite a few things with the butterflies here today. Um, and I have kind of concluded I might be overcomplicating things. Because <laughs> honestly, you only need about 20 pollen, maybe a little bit more for each type of tree. You get it, and then you move on to a new type of tree. So you got to change the leaves again, plant a new tree. Um, so in order to start this, you would need to, like, let's say I want apple oak pollen. Um, if you're using the vanilla trees, you have to convert them first. So this is oak sapling right now. Put it in here, switches it over to an apple oak sapling, a forestry tree. And honestly, you probably just need uh, like a floor in a spawner room or a room where you properly bred the, the butterflies. Or if you want to just catch them and put them in a room, this is all you really got to do. Um, bone meal? Bone meal. Alright, so make some kind of floor. Like a so. And then again, every type of tree is shaped different, so it might be tricky. <laughs> um, and if you want, you can try to even it out. So some of the things I've learned here today, you have to use the naturally spawned leaves. You can't move them. If you move them, it doesn't work. Uh, the butterflies have to land on the leaves in order to get the pollen. Um, and in order to do that, they need space. So if you have them in a tight space, even if it's too high, if it's only one wide, they seem to freak out still. So for the rest of these spaces, I guess I'll just fill it in with some random block. It doesn't really matter. All right. 
And what else did I learn? What else? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I had a big list in mind, and now I forget forgot everything. All right, let's get this going again. Power spawner works pretty good, though. So you see, like, right away they're landing. That's good. So they have pulling, I'm pretty sure. Oh, didn't mean to kill you. Yeah, so they got it right away. So you just need a room like this. And then once you got a bunch of pollen, all you got to do is take it and you can check out what you can use use it for, to, what trees you can make out of it. So we have apple oak pollen right now, so we can use it to make uh, mundane larch. We have that already. We have silver lime already. Uh-oh. <laughs> hill cherry, that's one we need. Okay, so silver lime plus apple oak hill cherry. 10% chance. You can also use it to make... Oh, no, that's silver lime. Yeah, so that's the only one left I need. So... Here's an important thing. If we take silver lime leaves that we've sheared, again, it doesn't work. So if I right click on these, it's not working. Can't place it. So you actually have to have fresh leaves again. You can't move them. Uh, do I have silver lime trees? I must. Yes, have tons of them. So yeah, you got to grow the tree then. So all this is pretty tricky to automate, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm sure there's a way though. So yeah, now that these are like original leaves, they haven't been moved, we can use the apple oak on them, switch them over, and then when we graft them, we should have a 10% chance of getting the hill cherry here. So it's actually really easy to breed the trees this way, instead of having to wait and having bees randomly do it or whatever. Uh, I think this is going to turn out pretty good. First try. <laughs> nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Those grafters are so garbage. What is it, like four or five times and it's gone? Man. <laughs> there might be a Thumbcraft one. I'll have to check into that. But yeah, that's that's kind of the gist of it. Pretty simple. Wait a minute. There might be a way of collecting the leaves, actually. So check this out. In Thumbcraft with the Translocator. Is that what it's called? I forget. <laughs> so you can pick up leaves with this or a single block and then place it again. But look at this. I can still use the pollen on this. If I use shears, it doesn't let me. Um, it doesn't save the data. It counts as a block I placed instead of a naturally grown leaf, you know? So that works. Maybe there's tools. What What if we use silk touch? I never even tried. Just a silk touch on your pick. Did I kill it? I killed it. Can I not? What? What? <laughs> I silk touch. This is destroying it. I have silk touch on my axe, yes. Same thing. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sure there's a way. So what what I wanted to automate this a bit better, have three autonomous activators. One would place the leaf block, one would place the pollen on the leaf block, and the third one would use the grafter on it. So you could, you know, just collect pollen, collect leaves, put them in the system, get your saplings out of it. Um, hmm. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. We're running pretty late on this episode, though. I know I was just chasing butterflies the whole time. <laughs> Might not be the most interesting episode, but uh, it's something I've, I've been wanting to check out here. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.